Alright, how to do the pyramid? You'll need your most weight reducing armor, then you will need one anti potion potion, the four different diamonds, four super energy potions, or eight normal energy potions, and then a full inventory of food. You can find this pyramid just south of Iblis and his mirrors, or just southwest of Polovnitch. So, from Polovnitch, just run southwest until you see a pyramid. You'll need to go west southwest until you see a river. When you see a river, just go west until you see a pyramid. Alright, when you see the pyramid, go to the most northeastern part of the pyramid and you will find an obelisk. Use a smoke diamond on the obelisk and you will enchant it. Next, go to the southeastern one. So just run south. Then use your ice diamond on the southeastern obelisk. Next, run to the southwestern one. And on this obelisk you will need to use a shadow diamond. Then for the last one, go north to the northwestern corner of the pyramid and use the blood diamond on that obelisk. Alright, next go to the north side of the pyramid and just climb the stairs. When you've climbed the stairs, Enter the pyramid entrance, drink some energy potions, alright when you do climb down the ladder and north of you you'll find a ladder sign, click on it and go towards it. The first two levels are very easy. When your character stops running, just quickly run further down the map. When your character stops running, there is two possible options. Either you trigger a trap or a poisonous bug will spawn. Either way, just go try to go further down the path. The only thing you'll need to do in this pyramid is run run as fast as possible to the end. And the second floor just go east to the most eastern wall. When you hit the most eastern wall you go south. When a scarab uh, attacks you, you are poisoned. That's why you have brought your anti-poison potion. Alright, just keep following the path, the most southern path. North, drink some energy potions, don't forget that. And it is already the second floor completed. Climb down the ladder. Then take the eastern path and follow this path. Just go east to the northeastern corner. Follow the path south. Keep going south until you see a crossroad. Go east at that crossroad. And then just keep going east until you are in the most southeastern corner. Follow this path and you'll see a ladder. And just don't forget to drink energy potions and just keep running. Climb down to the fourth and the last floor. Run west. Then run north. Just follow this path and you've pretty much made it. So just keep running. 
when you've made it to the end of this path, you have pretty much completed the quest. Alright, when you've made it to the end of the pyramid, go through the doorway. You'll find one NPC that is called Alexandra. Talk to it. And after a long conversation, congratulations, you've completed Desert Treasure Quest. You are awarded with 3 quest points, 20,000 magic experience and access to ancient magics. I will notice that your magic spellbook is now ancient spellbook. To get this back to normal spellbook, just pray at the altar next to the portal and you will be back at your normal spellbook. Now if you leave this area and you want to get your ancient spellbook back, just return to the desert pyramid, except for going through the entire pyramid uh, maze again, just go to the back side and you will find a tunnel. On the back side, enter the tunnel and you will appear in the throne room. Just pray at the altar and you're back on Ancients. Now next, you're also able to get a shadow sword and more importantly, the ghostly robes. I'll put an annotation on the screen and in the description to my guide how to get the ghostly robes. That guide is called Curse of Zaras. This was my guide how to do the desert treasure quest. Hopefully it helped. Okay, thanks, bye.